Hello everyone. Today I'm bringing you the recipe of spinach rice uh, because I promised you I will bring you the recipe of spinach rice because I'd served that with chicken corn soup and uh, you have seen it in my previous video uploaded on my channel. Now, um, if you have not with the spinach rice for your information, I served chicken corn soup with spinach rice. So if you want to serve uh, it that way, you can see the recipe of chicken corn soup also um, in on my channel. It's uh, uh, there in the videos uploaded in on my channel. You can see it from there and uh, we are going to make some spinach rice now. It's really amazing, very, very easy and spinach with rice really tastes very nice. And before we go on to discuss how we are going to make these rice, like, share and subscribe to the channel Life Themes with Faria Habib. And if you don't want to click the bell icon because you don't want notifications, don't click it. That's up to you. If you want to click the bell icon because you want notifications, that's up to you. You can click it. And But please, for my sake, I'm asking you, click the subscribe button, please. Okay, and now let's see, let's go on to the journey of making our spinach rice. First of all, let's see what ingredients we are going to use or we are going to need to make these spinach rice. Onions, they are four small sized or three medium sized onions. They are sliced, uh, thinly sliced. You can see thin and long, cut them uh, accordingly and you're going to use some garlic you can see the quantity of the garlic here and uh, some salt because i will be cooking one kg of rice i will be using um, three and a half full teaspoons of salt okay and uh, three because these one kg of rice is equal to three and a half glasses of rice and for each glass of rice, you're going to use one teaspoon of salt, heaped teaspoon of salt. Okay. Um, then what else are we going to need? We're going to uh, use some red chilies also. Red chili is optional. If you don't want to use it at all, don't use it at all. If you want to use only a bit of it, you can use a bit of it. For 1 kg of rice, I personally used um, almost 1.5 teaspoon of red chilies. Okay. Then we are going to use some carom seeds. They are going to be half teaspoon of carom seeds. Okay. Black cardamom, 2 black cardamoms I used. You are going to um, press them and open their mouths. And you're not going to crush them at all you're going to use them that way okay then uh, what I'm going to use is um, uh, cumin seeds cumin seeds to one and a half rather teaspoons of cumin seeds okay and besides that I use some uh, cinnamon powder you can use almost uh, three fourth teaspoon of cinnamon powder and three fourth teaspoon of black pepper you can see black pepper here and uh, what else am i going to use i'm going to use two tablespoons of uh, this uh, lemon juice you can see that in the cup okay two tablespoons of lemon juice in three and a half glasses of rice or one kg of rice if you want to decrease the amount of lemon juice you can do that okay so that totally depends upon you these are the basic ingredients that we will be using in our spinach rice i call them basic ingredients but i think these are the basic ingredients this is spinach almost one kg of spinach cut and shredded and uh, of course uh, it's washed and it's now here with me ready to be cooked and these are rice one kg of rice that i have with me so rice of course 
<laughs> in spinach rice you're going to have these two ingredients as a must spinach and rice okay so i start off cooking and what i do is in a wok i take some oil and how much oil is that it's almost one and a half cup of oil okay if you like lesser oil you can lessen the quantity if you want more oil you can add to it okay it depends upon you i took one and a half cup of oil and in that oil now i have to that oil now i have added onions and i have uh, crushed the garlic that i had with me and you can see that in the picture i have added those things to this oil and what i'm going to do is i am going to brown the onions now and while the onions are being browned what i'll do is i will wash the rice and soak them in water they will be soaked in water for 25 to 30 minutes they are pakistan basmati rice okay pakistani basmati rice and i have wash them one kg of rice and i will soak them in water and they will be soaked in water for 25 to 35 minutes to 30 minutes and in the meanwhile i will be browning the onions and doing all the the rest of the things and uh, then it will be time to add the uh, rice to the mixture to those browning onions I have added all the spices that I showed you previously and all the spices have gone into it as you can see. So I have browned now the onions, I have mixed it up with the help of a spatula all the spices in the onions and the onions are a light brown in color now so I am going to add water to it now the mixture. I am going to add water to it and how much will be the quantity of the water, I let me explain it to you. If you are going to cook one glass of rice, you're going to add one and a half glass of water. Okay, so I took three and a half glasses of rice or one kg of rice. So for three and a half glasses of rice, I'm going to put in 4.75 glasses of water. Okay, or for one kg of rice, I'm going to put in add 4.75 glasses of water fine uh, and th that much water I will be adding to it you can see now I have added the water and it has become brown because of the spices because of the um, browned onions okay the water has become brownish in color and I'm at this stage I'm going to add coriander ground coriander that I already had with me I did not add that previously while I was adding the spices and the reason for that is if you add it with the spices then when you eat the rice it feels as, as though sand is coming into your mouth if it gets brown that way so we add it with the water and not before it and I will also add the lemon juice almost one and a half to two um, tablespoons of lemon juice that I had with me I'm adding that also you can minimize it you can make it one tablespoon of lemon ju juice and that will be fine okay that I'm going to add to it if you add lemon juice to rice at this stage they um, remain really fresh and separated from each other they don't uh, cluster together they don't come together they don't make clusters and uh, they look nice so that's why lemon juice is also added to them so if you want to add one tablespoon spoon of lemon juice that will also be enough for these rice after adding all those spices to the water we are going to add the spinach also that's raw spinach that's cut and that's washed almost one kg of spinach we are going to add that also into the water see how it, the contrast is made brownish rustish color of water and the green spinach nice contrast isn't it so yes add the spinach to the water on the right side the right image you can see the spinach is added to the water i will mix it up now with the help of the ladle and here after a few minutes when the water comes to a boil the spinach also boils in it and it's almost cooked you can see 
when the water comes to a boil it will be you will see the clock the watch whatever timer you have with you and you will see almost 25 to 30 minutes are up when from when the uh, rice were soaked in water and the water here also has come to a boil the spinach also inside the water has boiled and it has uh, been cooked now and now the next step will be what will it be guess what will it be uh, yes you are right the next step will be adding rice to the boiling water okay you will of course they were the rice were soaked in water you will drain the water and you will add rice to this your cooking pot and in it is water is spinach all the spices that you have already added to it okay so you add now rice to this water and as soon as you add rice to the water you are going to turn the lid in it that's very important because if you don't do that what will happen rice will form into clusters okay uh, and of course that will not be nice I've just told you you're going to mix the ladle and I mix the ladle and mix the rice four five six seven eight times and this is uh, what the look that we have now such nice color so I thought I should share it with you while it's cooking such nice colors so I will let it cook it will be boiling and then I'll turn it to the stove to medium heat and the rice will boil and then they will uh, come to a shape where you know they a very little very very little water is left in it and when you taste them it seems that they are almost cooked not fully cooked but almost cooked and while they are boiling the water is boiling with the rice in it what I will do is I will on the other stove I will um, heat the, the, the uh, other stove put fire in it and uh, heat a sizzling platter on it or a tawa as we call it in it in Urdu we are going to use a sizzling platter it will be heated on high heat you know before our rice uh, is cooked and ready to go on to that sizzling platter now how we are going to do that i'm going to just disclose it to you so my rice are cooking in my wok it's covered if the lid is on and i have my sizzling platter of course it's being heated on the next stove and when then my rice when i lift the lid after a few minutes my rice come into this shape and uh, uh, see they're steaming hot very 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 little water almost no water left in them and when i taste them they are not fully done but more than 80 percent cooked you know and when they are more than 80 percent cooked they're still there mm, what are we going to do with them then let me tell you when they are more than 80 percent cooked and that depends upon your judgment you should be a very good judge of how well your rice is cooked at this stage and once they are cooked that way you're going to cover them with the lid and you can you are going to place your pot now onto your sizzling platter and the fire under the sizzling platter is going to become extremely low now on very 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 low heat you're going to put your pot of rice okay and it's going to stay there for 10 to 15 minutes okay 15 minutes say safely and it's going to remain there just forget it, that it's there for 10 to 15 minutes just forget it's there okay and then it will be ready to eat and just as i told you after 15 minutes when i took off the lid my rice were ready my spinach rice were ready and i dished them out 
just to show you how beautiful they are looking and every rice grain is separate from each other because of the one tablespoon of uh, lemon juice that I added to them or you can add one and a half tablespoon of lemon juice it depends upon you so because of that now they are like this they're looking so beautiful I have dished them out you can see there them here and don't you want to eat them hmm so if you want to eat them just go to your kitchen and cook some spinach rice and you can serve them with some chicken corn soup as I have ser served them here chicken corn soup recipe is also available on my channel life themes with Faria Habib you can see it there and you can make some yummy chicken corn soup to be served with spinach rice and it's a very very nice combination you take some rice out into your plate and you pour some chicken corn soup over them and you eat them and they are so yummy 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 delicious so enjoy your spinach rice with your chicken corn soup or without your chicken corn soup as you like it you can give them to your family you can give them to your friends you can give them to your guests and you can give them to your guests in the hotel in your restaurant if you have that and if you want that so it depends totally about what you need how you need and how you like it so like share and subscribe to the channel life teams with Faria habib and keep watching, keep enjoying some yummy, 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 yummy food. And take care. Cheers.